Um, today I'm going to do Eleven Hip Hop uh, ATL Season 2 Episode 6 or 7. I'm not sure. Um, but it starts off with Mimi and Arian. And they're talking about what happened with K. Michelle. And Mimi is feeling uneasy about um, K. Michelle. And how she says everything's always something when it comes to do with K. Michelle. She said, just like the engagement party at Erica's, the housewarming. Just, it's always something with K. Michelle. And I agree. It's always something with K. Michelle. But K. Michelle feels like she could say whatever she wants and can't nobody else say shit back. That's what I get from her. But Arian is like, that's just K. You know that. You know that's her. It's ways you got to deal with it. I just didn't like how two guys went after a little person with a big attitude. And my thing is, people with big ass attitudes get big ass consequences. I'm just saying. Next was Scrappy. He goes talk to his Mama D. He um wants his stuff because he wants to pick up his stuff because he mad at his mama. So she, before he can say anything, she apologizes for the cake. She um she just basically tells him like you my son. Um I might have jumped the gun. He just like mama, you need to stay the hell up out of it. This is between me and her. Um that shit wasn't cool. And she was like, I'll try. He like, no, you just need to stay out of it. Like, you say you love me, stay out of it. And that's just a, just a little hint, Mama D. Like, I still love Erica. I'm trying to work this shit out. Please don't fuck this up for me. That's what I got. But, um, yeah. He tells her that she needs to take her medicine. She like, I'm not taking nothing but this medicine for my toothache. And I'm sitting there like, see, Erica not the only one said her ass is on medication. Anyway, um, Rashida, she's still having problems with Kirk. Kirk is a bitch. He's an asshole. He's not a man. He's not a little boy. He just got a, a little penis that got a little sperm in it. Because I don't even know. He's just a male. I don't, I'm not saying he's a boy because boys could be turned into men. So he's a male. Um, he tells her she's spiteful for getting pregnant. And I'm sitting there like, nigga, she didn't fuck herself. She didn't put sperm in her. She didn't fuck herself. How is she the only blame in this pregnancy? Like, Kirk pimps, tries to pimp her. I think he only see dollar signs. I think he only got with her because he thought that she was going to be this big rapper that he was going to come up with. And it didn't happen. And he's talking about he had too many kids. And she's like, well, I don't. And I'm sitting there like... You guys been married over 10 years. Why do you guys act like I don't know each other? Or like each other? Or talk to each other? I don't know. But it don't seem like they've been together that long. But I heard that through the grapevine. That they only um, doing this for a storyline. That this is not Kirk or Rashida. This is just for a storyline. But I'm like, who wants this kind of storyline? Who wants this kind of hatred? Or either looking stupid on Rashida's part. Mm -mm. But anyway, Rashida, if it, I just want you to file for divorce. Because even if a man would accept this kind of situation to get a storyline, he's trying to pimp you out. So please file for divorce. Take your kids. Run fast as far as you can. Um, anyway, Tracy, she hosts an event for some designer. She invites Shay. They both looking stupid when Erica walks on the stage modeling. They didn't know she was going to be there. Shay didn't know she was going to be there. So, after the event, she asked Tracy about it. Tracy was like, I didn't know. So, then, um, she was like, you know, why? And she was talking about how she seen Scrappy. And she was, like, giving these little... She wouldn't say they fucked, but everybody could tell by her face that they fucked. And I'm like, how stupid are you? Shay, you don't want to look dumb. You know he just broke up with her. You know he's still dealing with her, and you still fucked. Like, how stupid and ratchet do you fucking look? I'm just saying. Um, anyway, Erica walks up. She's talking to Tracy. Uh, Shay's giving side eye, little stupid ass, little facial expressions. Erica's not giving her the time of day because she felt like that wasn't the time or the place for that. But she'll see her later. Um, Stevie and Shay Mac meet up at the gym. He's talking about he's going to work her out, but he doesn't want problems with Jocelyn. He really wants to work with her, but he doesn't want problems with Jocelyn. She like, why? Like, I'm not fucking you i i haven't even smelled your dick let alone suck your dick so why is she tripping like are you, do you are you in love with her he was like i love her she was like are you in love with her he couldn't say he was like we trying to build something he was going all around the merry-go-round when he when she asked was she in love with that girl 
But he, you know, he's he's scared of Jocelyn. And if y'all don't think he's not scared of Jocelyn, he's scared as fuck of Jocelyn. Like, he come at her with pimp talk, but I think Jocelyn be pimping him or beating him. I don't know. But he's scared to make her mad because I'm like, you should have had this shit going on these same, same conversations. You talking about you want them to talk. You should have these same conversations when it came to your baby mama and Jocelyn. Like, no. But you didn't want to do that. Maybe because you was fucking her. But you're not fucking her, so you want them to talk. And you want her to tell her that it's not a problem. Like, shut the fuck up, Stevie. Mm -mm. Um, Kirk, he goes to Benzino. They talking about, um, Benzino had a party with some strippers, so he wanted him to come and relax. And he was like, if after all this shit was going on with Rashida, he needs to go and party with Benzino and the strippers. Mm -mm. But anyway, he telling um, her about how Rashida's pregnant and how he thinks that she's wrong for being pregnant and how Benzino looking at him stupid and how he um, was talking about how she was on the pill and she told him that she needed to get off the pill because of her body needed the rest from the pills. So you knew it could have been a chance and that's what Benzino said. And he was talking about how he wear condoms, but he pull out and all this stuff. Because they know, like, huh, nigga, what? It only take one sperm? Like, stupid, idiot, fucker. Like, then he was talking about how if that wasn't his wife, he would have told her to get abortion. You asshole. Please, Rashida, divorce this asshole. Even if you didn't, you saw all of the stuff that was going on between you and him, you didn't see this part. Now that you see it, please get your kids and go. He's an asshole. Um, I didn't like that. Baby Drew, he dealing with the contractors for the store. Tracy walks in with her non-business sense ass and comes in with this guy. She gives him the check, but she said giving him the check comes with what she wants to do with the store. And so she brings this guy and says she hired him. Because he, she says Drew has some hoochies and models and hood rats, basically. So she decided to go on her own and find somebody to hire a guy so he like you know you didn't even run this by me and my thing is even when you guys had the models he let both you both interviewed them he didn't do that shit on his own he could have did that shit on his own because you're the silent partner so you don't have no say so in who runs the store so shut the fuck up but she brings in his boy shows the resume he's a barber he's this he's that and i'm sitting there like tracy you have no business sense because that's not how you conduct business. But Drew needed that 25000 so he wasn't going to say too much. But, you know, he was making his little comments. But everybody knew he was playing. He really didn't care if they was going on a date. Not to me. Anyway. um, Mama D, she called a dog whisperer. I tuned that shit out. I felt like it was very stupid. I don't believe in dog whispers. I feel like you just train your damn dog, your damn self. Your dog love you here. Listen, if he don't love you and he... He'll do every goddamn thing for you to give him away. I'm just saying. Um, Shay Mac, Jocelyn, and Stevie, they meet up at the strip club at Magic City. Magic, Magic City. I swear when I go to Atlanta, I'm going to Magic City. I'm just saying. Um, they sit in there, and Shay apologized for the way she acts. She tell her it was the drinking and how she wants to work with her. Jocelyn thinks she's Rihanna, B uh, Beyonce, Sierra. I don't know. Okay. She even thinks she came Michelle. Shit. But she just act like she's so above this Shay Mac girl that she can't work with her. Shay is trying to, you know, really talk to her, really have a conversation with her, and she's just not feeling it. Even Stevie is like, you know, usually I do what I want to do, but I'm trying to include you. I'm trying to go a different path. She gets mad. She gets up. She walks off. But before she walks off, because Shay is throwing little comments about uh, some tic tacs and tic tocs, I don't know, uh, tic tac toe, I don't know, but she was throwing comments, and Jocelyn came from behind or on the side and swung at her. My thing is, Jocelyn, I don't like bitches that try to sneak up from back. Bitch, if you want to fight, you could have tried to hit her when y'all was sitting across from each other. I'm not with that side hit shit. Um, Mimi and Arian, they go to uh, oh they on their way to the um event concert or whatever k michelle was having and they 
Mimi tells Arian about a text message she received about K. Michelle, did an interview or something like that, and she was calling Nico gay and talking about how Nico is a roommate with Johnny and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, K. Michelle is always running her fucking mouth, like for real. Talking about, in her opinion, Nico is gay and all this. I'm like, you just not gonna quit. So, anyway, after that, they show Tracy and Baby Drew, they meet up. He tells her that he got conned by his business partner. And the business partner ran off with all the money. Tracy went off. And she had every right because she found out this motherfucker didn't even sign a contract. How the fuck do you not sign a contract and you giving up $50,000? Nigga, you should have signed a contract or you were signing over $5. I'm just saying. Like, that's the business. That's y'all life money. That's something to help y'all build in y'all child. And you taking out your child. And y'all did... But even Tracy, you was just as stupid. Cause my thing is, you gave him twenty five thousand without making sure everything was in order. So, just saying. Um, yeah, she went off on him though. She was hot. She was really hot. Anyway, Rashida and Carly Red they meet up for what? I don't know. Carly wants her to still jump on his disc record. Rashida's like, no. Like, I'm too grown for this shit. Let her do all the diss records she wants to. I'm too grown for this. This bitch is not international superstar like she thinks she is. Let her have that. And I felt that. Like, please, Rashida, don't stoop to Carly Red's level. Carly's just trying to get on. And she figured, like, at least you a little bit higher than her. So, let me try to get you to stoop down to this bullshit-ass level. Don't do it. Um, K. Michelle, she performing... In New York, they go to the concert. After the concert, they meet backstage. Um, Arian give her flowers or whatever, and she wants them to talk. So they start talking, and they bring up about how Kay is calling him gay and how she's tripping about they live in an apartment and they roommates. And she was like, they're not roommates. She was like, I've been over there before. And she was like, you've never been over there. I think when, when Kay do stuff, Kay be trying to throw out stuff to get a reaction. I don't know because I don't believe she's been over there either. And if she have, why would you be over Nico's house or Johnny's house? You think Johnny gay and you know Nico go with your girl. So why would you even be over there anyway? I don't know. But um, her and Mimi going back and forth, back and forth. And Mimi say something about you ain't got no man. That struck a chord with Kay because she turned around. She was like, I don't want no man like yours. And she hits Mimi with the flowers. They kind of, you kind of see them like kind of scuffle, but really wasn't a scuffle. And they put K. Michelle in the room and Mimi still yelling or whatever. Every time K. get into some bullshit, she starts singing. I'm so over that. You start singing bullshit. You childish, you immature, you always got to throw something at people. And that's what Mimi was saying. You always got to hit somebody with something. Bitch, put your hands up. I get su- This is why I don't respect K. Michelle. Because she always hitting somebody with something. Bitch, put your hands up. I don't respect that you said always got to fight with something. If you talk about that life and you say you hop gates and all that shit, bitch, put your hands up. Um. After that, Mimi and Arian is arguing because she, Mimi blowing off. Mimi be acting like she on some of that white girl. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. She pops in too many drinks and pills. But when she be doing going off or whatever, she be acting like she on some other shit. Mm, I'm just saying. Maybe it's just me. But do Mimi do act like she on some hard ass white shit. I'm just saying. Um, but she going off on Arian. Arian is like, home girls, calm down with the liquor courage. Every time you get liquor courage in you, you going off and. You should have handled that better. But I'm sitting there like, how how better can she handle that? K. Michelle hit her with some flowers. How 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 much more can she could have handled that? K. Michelle was throwing out jabs about her dude. How much more can she handle that? Regardless if she just got with Nico or not, that's still her man. You just don't talk about people, man, and not expect somebody to say nothing back. I'm just saying. Um. Anyway, that was my review for Love and Hip Hop. See, um... Atlanta season 2, episode 6, 7, I don't know, but one of them damn episodes. But, um, yeah, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Keek, Instagram. I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E, except my Instagram is Miss Nika, M-I-Z-Z, N-E-K-A-69. Um, talk to me, and I'll talk back.
All right, peace.